السلام علیکم دوستو ٹی ورلڈ ٹیلی ویژن میں خوش آمدی دوستو دنیا کے جانے مانے باکسر آمیر خان جو کہ دو بار دنیا کے ورلڈ چیمپئن رہ چکے ہیں کہ حال ہی میں ان کا کار ایکسیڈنٹ ہوا ہے ہم آپ کو آگے کے سی سی ٹی وی فوٹیج دکھائیں گے دوستو آپ دیکھ سکتے ہیں کہ باکسر آمیر خان اپنی اہلیہ اور بچے کے ہمراہ فوٹو کھچوائے ہیں دوستو ہم آپ کو آگے کار کے سی سی ٹی وی فوٹیج بھی دکھاتے ہیں دوستو یہ کار کا فرنٹ سائیڈ ہے ڈرائی فرنٹ ڈرائیونگ سائیڈ ہے جیسا کہ آپ دیکھ سکتے ہیں کار کا ایکسیڈنٹ اتنی شدت سے ہوا کہ فرنٹ پارٹس باہر آ گئے ہیں ہم آپ کو کار کا بونٹ کی تصویر کے بات کریں تو آپ دیکھ سکتے ہیں سائیڈ لگنے کے باوجود اس کا فرنٹ سے کوئی واسطہ نہیں اس کے باوجود بھی فرنٹ بونٹ بالکل باہر آ چکا ہے دوستو ہم آپ کو آگے کی تصویر بھی دکھاتے ہیں جیسا کہ میں نے پچھلے پیرے کہا تھا کہ کار کا ڈرائیونگ سیٹ فرنٹ ڈرائیونگ سیٹ لگی ہے ڈرائیونگ سیٹ آپ بیک سائٹ دیکھ سکتے ہیں اتنی شدت کا ایکسیڈنٹ ہے کہ ٹوٹل کا ٹوٹل پارٹ سی باہر آ گیا ہے دوستو اب ہم بات کریں گے اس کار کی مالیت کی اگر ہم اس کار کی مالیت کی بات کریں تو پاکستانی کرنسی کے حساب سے اس کار کی قیمت دو کروڑ سے بھی زیادہ کی ہے دوستو اب ہم بات کریں گے فرنٹ سائٹ کی آپ کار کی فرنٹ سائٹ کی تصاویر بھی دیکھ سکتے ہیں جیسا کہ پچھلے تصاویروں میں میں نے آپ کو قریبی حال دکھایا تھا اب آپ پوری کار کا جائزہ لے سکتے ہیں دوستو پورا کے پورے پارٹس ہی باہر آ گئے اب ہم آپ کو کار کی فرنٹ بیک دونوں سائٹ دکھاتے ہیں دوستو اس سے آپ اندازہ لگا سکتے ہیں کہ کار کا ایکسیڈنٹ کتنی شدت سے ہوا ہے تاہم اچھی خبر یہ ہے کہ مسلم باکسر دنیا کے ورلڈ چیمپئن رہنے والے باکسر عامر خان اپنی اہلیہ اور بچے سمیت ابھی تک صحیح اور سلامت ہیں چلتے ہیں انٹرویو کی طرف ہیٹ ان انجرڈ ا پیڈسٹرین افٹر دی انٹرویو آئی ڈیڈ مور رپورٹنگ آن دی ایکسیڈنٹ اینڈ فاؤنڈ دیٹ سم اف وٹ کان ٹولڈ می ان دی انٹرویو ڈیفرڈ فرام دی اکاؤنٹس اف وٹنسز اینڈ کورٹ ریکارڈز ایز رپورٹڈ بائی لوکل میڈیا دی پروسیکیوٹر ان دی کیس اینڈ فیملی ممبرز اف دی وکٹم ہیر از اور کانورسیشن We've seen fighters uh, in the press every six months for a DUI or for beating their girlfriends exactly. or for different so, things. And, and, you know, that's what I mean. So that helps me by not drinking, by sticking to my religion. And, and it keeps me humble, keeps my feet on the ground. And my religion teaches me not to go out there and spend on crazy things. I mean, I can go out there and spend on silly things. But, I mean, I like to treat myself now and then. But, like I said, it's very limited. You know, I limit it quite well. Watches and cars are the two things I buy. And I love them. Other than that, I mean, all the partying and all that stuff, I mean, it's not for me. Plus, it's not going to help me in my, in my boxing career, so kind of stay and, away from And that, that. that is one thing I read, that you have a thing for fast cars. I mean, you've gotten yeah. tickets and everything. My, what kind of cars do you like? Um, you know, I've had, I've had all the cars, man. You name them, from Lamborghinis, Ferraris to R8s. And, <laughs> and then, I, then I was driving my 6 Series AC Schnitzer, and I got pulled by the police doing over 100 miles per hour, and I got a ticket for that, so I got banned for six months. 140, right? You were going well, like 140. Going, yeah, well, <laughs> I forgot, yeah, 140. A need for speed, brother. <laughs> well, you know what, it must have been, um, I must have a heavy right foot or something, it must be, but yeah, you know what, I learned from that, and since that time when I got the ban, I've never had a ticket since then, or never been banned again, and that was five years ago. So I've learned my lesson, I got a, I got a slap on the wrist, and. That'll never happen again. I do remember that in 2007 you were convicted of careless driving. That's right. You were banned for six months, which you mentioned, yeah. but you hit and you broke the leg of a guy named Jeffrey Hatton. That's right, yeah. That was before the six-month ban. That was, um, that was uh, in, in Bolton. Uh, I, I, I just literally went through the, through the light. A guy came running out. And I, I hit a guy, um, but still it was my fault because pedestrians have the right of way in the UK. I mean, put my hand up, it was wrong of me. I mean, m I was going just a little bit over the limit, which was, probably, I think I was going like 32 miles per hour, which the limit is 30 miles per hour. But like I said, um, it was a lesson that was learned, you know, it was a lesson that I, I learned and I kind of, it kind of, it kind of gave me a little bit of a shock because I kind of stopped driving uh, for a couple of months after that because I, it kind of scared me, you know, when I hit somebody. Um, but it, it, like I said, you know, that I got a slap on the wrist for that as well. And then since then, I mean, I'm very careful. I'm a very careful driver. Even when I'm in New York now, I don't really want to drive, but sometimes yeah. you have to. Yeah. Um, he, he actually died. He died, he died two I, years later. Two years later, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they say, I mean... Gastrointestinal bleeding. Yeah, something like that, yeah. 
But they did say, and I read in the newspaper, it had nothing to do. They had nothing to do with the with the accident or okay. anything. So, so you that, didn't so feel that, any yeah. response. But I did. I, I did write a good. I wrote a nice letter to his family. I sent flowers and everything to the family to show my respects and everything. But um, when when the reports come, it had nothing to do with the accident because it was two years after all. Did that have? Do you still struggle with that today, or is it something you've been able to get over? I mean, it's something you know. I've, I've got great family support. I mean, my family have been with me and they've supported me very good and they kind of helped me through that and they said look um you know things happen he was very old as well and he had i think where something i read somewhere he had like a drinking problem or something but i mean put that to a side it was just uh, sad to hear that he died uh, two years did after. it affect your brand or did you lose any endorsements um no it didn't no it okay. didn't no some of the things Khan told me in the interview contradicted accounts reported by the case's prosecutor, Alaric Bassano, Hatton's family, and the testimony of eyewitnesses. Khan suggested to me that he was traveling at two miles per hour over the speed limit. He was traveling at 17 miles per hour over the speed limit in his BMW 645 convertible, according to Bassano, Hatton's family, and media reports. Khan told me he, quote, went through the light, unquote. Khan was also in the wrong lane as he drove through a red light, according to the prosecutor Bersano and eyewitnesses. Bersano also said that according to witnesses, Khan accelerated hard on the approach before running the light. Eyewitnesses testified in court that Khan hit Hatton so hard that Hatton shot up in the air. Khan told me that, quote, a guy came running out, unquote. The prosecutor told me that eyewitnesses to the accident testified in court that Hatton walked into the junction. And remember Khan telling me that Hatton was very old and that he read somewhere that Hatton had a drinking problem or something? I contacted Hatton's family in England to give them a chance to respond. 